The member for Fredericton South and leader of his party. Mr. Speaker, there's a pressing need to reset the relationship with First Nations. There are calls to action and calls to justice to implement. There are coroner's inquiries to implement uh, into the police shootings of Chantal Moore and Rodney Levi to get at the truth. There are the promised inquiries into systemic racism in the Indian day schools. When the tax agree agreements expire, First Nation communities may stop collecting provincial tax and collect their own. Mr. Speaker, last week I asked that you convene a special sitting of the legislature this month with First Nation leaders so we can hear directly from them and begin a dialogue to reset the relationship with the support of all parties in the House. So I want to ask the Premier if he supports convening a special sitting of this legislature with First Nation leaders from all corners of our province. The Minister responsible for Aboriginal Affairs in the gallery. Thank you to the member opposite for the question. We value our relationship with First Nations, and I'm pleased to report that we actually have a meeting coming up very soon with them. I wouldn't want to presuppose anything with respect to what they're requesting, so I would say today that um, there's going to be more information to come with respect to those outcomes, and we'll be back reporting on those. Thank you. The member for Carrington South and leader of his party. This is a perfect example of the problem, Mr. Speaker. Why does the Premier freeze up every time it comes to a question involving Indigenous people in this province? The relationship is so bad, Mr. Speaker, and here's an example that when Chantal's mother, Martha Martin, who I spoke to this morning when she was out here with Chief Alan Polchies and the Grand Chief of the uh, Wollasta Grant Council and friends, supporters, and some Fredericton community members, she told me when the report of the investigation uh, that was released by the Public Prosecution Services was presented on Monday, it was read to her over the phone by a civil servant. No one from this government was present at all. Not the Premier, not the Minister of Justice, not the Minister of Indigenous Affairs. And she had nothing. I had to print it out for her for Pete's sakes. I had to print it out for her, Mr. Speaker. So why, when it comes to engaging with Indigenous people, does the Premier lose his compassion and his basic humanity. Time member. The Minister responsible for Aboriginal Affairs in the gallery. Thank you again to the member opposite for the question. Order, Order member. Member. Minister, there will be no more outbreaks. Go ahead, Minister. Thank you again to the member opposite for the question. Mr. Speaker, I would say this. We are working on bettering our relationship with First Nations. We actually have had meetings with chiefs. We're talking about a new partnership, a new way forward. So I would suggest that rather than incite division, to try to come together, to work together, to help that relationship and build that relationship moving forward. Thank you.